crafters and welcome to another video with Amy Makes That here on my YouTube channel. You don't know how excited I am for today's project tutorial. It is on how to use Caesar Easy Puff HTV. Hold on. I'm wearing the shirt right now. If you guys know me, the brown and neutral tones are giving me life right now. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amy and I post all of the Cricut content including project tutorials, small business tips, Cricut design space hacks, font tutorials, I got it all. So if you're a crafter and you're interested in this kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel and be sure to follow me on my socials because I post a lot of content on there as well. But before I get into today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to this week's Patreon channel. Shout out Danique. Thank you so much for supporting me on my Patreon community. Okay, I think I covered everything. Now we can get into today's tutorial. In order to make the design, I'm going to head to my favorite design website. It is canva.com. Now please keep in mind with Easy Puff HTV, you do not want to have a thin, tiny design. It is best to have bold and thicker designs so you could really use the Easy Puff to its full potential. To make the design, I'm going to click the text button and type out my word. I decided to use the word crafter. So change the font to Shrick Hand and duplicate it three times. But the bottom and top lines were outlines and I'll show you how to do that. You will go to the effects tab on the top and select hollow. Now you can adjust the thickness. I was okay with this thickness. You don't wanna do it any thinner than this though because again, like I said with Easy Puff, you wanna make sure that it is a very thick design. So I duplicated that and then adjusted the line spacing so you know that they are evenly distributed. That's how easy it was to make this design. So to save it, I shared it as a PNG but I selected the transparent background. Now I am a pro member of Canva so I was able to do a transparent background and then I dragged it to my desktop. Now if you don't have Canva Pro you can bypass this by sharing and downloading and still save it as a PNG but then when you go into Cricut Design Space you will remove the white background and the white areas. Okay so I'm skipping a few of the upload steps because that does get repetitive. I'm going to upload it as complex because I want it to be the best quality and then here would be the part where you remove the white areas but since this is transparent I don't have to do that. We'll hit apply and continue and then select it as a cut image. We do not want to use print then cut today because we are using vinyl. And then you can adjust the design to the appropriate size. I measured it with my ruler. This is a size medium sweatshirt. I made my design about nine inches, nine and a half, because you don't want it to overlap too much to the side because then you won't see the design. Once you adjust that, we will be ready to make it. And with Easy Puff, you do indeed mirror your design. So please do not forget to mirror. The Cricut will connect and the the recommended base material to set it to is Everyday Iron On. Off camera, I did do a test cut to make sure that the Everyday Iron On setting was appropriate. So please make sure you don't forget to do a test cut because those are super important. Now here is our lovely Easy Puff HTV. And like most other HTVs, there is a shiny side and a more matte side. Instead of putting it shiny side down, we're going to put this shiny side up. So you see that shine is on the top and on the bottom bottom is that matte side. So the carrier sheet is going to be on the top. Please do not forget that. And it's a little bit harder to adhere it to the mat because the bottom side doesn't stick as well to the Cricut mat. So I really press down and I will use my brayer tool. Then as always, we will insert the mat into the Cricut with the vinyl and the Cricut will cut everything. Click the arrow button to remove the mat and it cut beautifully. I do not want to waste my Easy Puff vinyl because this stuff is like gold. So I'm going to use my paper cutter and now it's time to weed the design. As you saw, the top and bottom are outlined and the middle is bolded. So you'll remove the letters on the top and bottom and then just the inside areas of the middle. Now 
Now our design is ready to be heat pressed. Look at my new heat press. This is what I've been telling you guys about on my Instagram stories. With Easy Puff HTV, the pressure has to be firm, very firm. I do not recommend an iron or an Easy Press because you can't really adjust the pressure. I'll turn my machine on and the correct settings for Easy Puff HTV is 280 degrees at 15 seconds. Again, it is so important to do test cuts before you make your actual design. Easy Puff cannot be reheated, so it's a one and done situation. This was actually my test cut. I did it on a t-shirt, and as you can see, the puff is so puffy. You could see that it really lifted on the t-shirt, and that's the effect that we're going for. Now, since I am using a crew neck t-shirt today, it is a bit thicker and you won't see as much puff. It's hard to tell on camera, but there's definitely some thickness to it, just not as much as the t-shirt because it is much thinner. So keep that in mind when you are using Easy Puff HTV. So now I can place my sweatshirt onto the heat press. As it's heating up, make sure it is swung away so you don't burn yourself. And unfortunately, I lost my t-shirt template measurements, but a trick around that is to use the three or four finger rule, but I'll measure that from the collar to the top of the design so I know it's in the appropriate placement. And then I'll take my ruler and measure the sides to make sure that it is perfectly even in the middle of the crew neck. You must use a Teflon sheet with Easy Puff HTV, so I'm applying that over the design, and then we'll swing our heat press over and start heat pressing. The heat press does automatically count down, so just wait 15 seconds. and then it'll beep when it's done. We'll remove it and immediately, immediately remove the carrier sheet. This is a hot peel, not a cold, not a warm, hot. And you'll see that puff just whoof, immediately puffs up. You'll see my hands go over the puff so many times in this video, but I was so obsessed. I've never felt anything like this before. It is again, hard to tell on camera. There is definitely some puff, but because it is such a thick sweatshirt, you don't get as much of a puff effect versus the t-shirt. But look at how great the brown puff HTV looks on the dark brown sweatshirt. I was originally going to use the beige Easy Puff, but I experimented with the brown and I was like, whoa, I have to use this. But this is exactly how you use Easy Puff HTV. Before I close out the video, I want to just have a little clip here and show you what you need to remember in order to have your first Easy Puff HTV project be smooth. So to sum it up, make sure before you do anything to do a test cut and to do a test heat press. You do not want to make any mistakes when you're doing your actual design and then waste all of your vinyl. You will cut your Easy Puff HTV on the everyday iron on setting. You may need to add a little bit more pressure or a little bit less depending on your machine. The Easy Puff HTV will go on the mat shiny side up or carrier sheet up that more matter side is going to be on the bottom, touching the Cricut mat. Do not preheat your apparel item or whatever item you're applying the Easy Puff to. Make sure to use a Teflon sheet over the design when you're heat pressing. It is going to be a firm pressure, not light. And again, do not want to use a machine like the Easy Press or an iron. It is best to use a clamshell or a swing away heat press. You're more than welcome to try the Easy Press. I'd be so curious to see if it actually works as well. The temperature and heat settings are going to be at 280 degrees for 15 seconds and make sure that it is a hot peel. So peel that carrier sheet off immediately when you're done heat pressing. And two other notes that I wanted to share, if you apply more heat, AKA a higher degree level, there's going to be more texture or bubbles. When you do test presses, you will see that. That's why 280 degrees is the recommended versus Caesar Easy Weed, you use 305. And also please make sure you do not use a thin design. So no thin fonts, stay away from those delicate script calligraphy ones. This was a very bolded design, a lot of people do use SVGs with Easy Puff. I've seen a lot of like smiley faces. You know, I did the heart before for the test cut. And please do not forget to do a test cut. I cannot stress that enough. But those are my tips that I've learned when heat pressing Easy Puff HTV. 
and all the products that I used in today's video will be linked in the video description. Now let's close out this video. Well, there you have it. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I kind of want to learn how to layer Easy Puff. I know you can't do two layers of Easy Puff, but you can do regular Easy Weed and then Easy Puff over it. So let me know if you're interested in that kind of video or if you have any other specific video suggestions. I always am looking in the comments because I want to help you and create all of the crafting content for you. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button to see more videos like today's. Thank you again so very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it and I will see everyone in the next video. Bye!